vlog for September 27th. So on Friday, something I discovered was how everyone has these songs that mean so much to them, but we don't necessarily tell anyone what these songs mean to us. For example, I had a very profound moment when the police song came on that we chose and I got to pretend dance with my mom and I realized how much music means to me even though I had never really thought about how much music means to me before. Something else I realized was how important having a break is. Um, and what I mean is like a, a break that actually helps you and where you can like discuss your ideas and really get to know your counterparts. This was in Gallia's uh, hour and how we all sat around and we had orange juice and cookies and really just talked about our ideas and what we think meanings of words mean and what things mean to us. And I thought it was very important um, because it was an essential break, I think, if that makes sense. If I were to become a refugee, I wouldn't know where to start how to pack for that because I live such a privileged life to have so many objects in my life that I think that are important. But I think that if I had a suitcase, I would definitely pack um, socks and underwear and a couple shirts. But I would really pack like sweaters, uh, a sweater and some blankets. And I would also pack books um, because I love books and plays. So The Pillow Man would be a book um, and that's the only one that can come to mind right now, but something to read, something to do. Um, my computer, because I love my computer, um, and I think it's a good source for like writing, and and I don't know, I just, I always have my computer with me when I move around, um, because I do go from house to house um, when I live with my parents because they're divorced. So I'm always used to having things in a bag with me, um, and I'm always asked, to you know, put all of the stuff that I need in a bag and bring it to different places where so that I can have my stuff at the house that I'm staying at. Um, so being a divorced child, I'm used to having to carry a lot of belongings with me all the time. Um, but I would definitely carry different things if I were a refugee. Um, I'd have more band-aids and, and I would have a lot of tampons and female products with me because I've noticed that is something that people don't think to donate a lot like a lot of what I've seen online is people asking for you know don't forget about women's shelters and how we really they really need um, feminine products and how homeless people don't have access to that and how expensive those things are but they're an e everyday necessity um, I'd also probably bring that picture behind me because it's of uh, one of my first homes in Charleston. Um, and I would bring a couple stuffed animals um, and some doggy pads for my dog, I guess, if I was living inside, and a couple of his toys, um, and maybe a small fan and a flashlight, definitely, and batteries. And if I could somehow, like, put gasoline because gasoline's really important and it's very expensive and hard to find in emergencies like when there's a hurricane that's the first thing you do um water i would bring lots of water with me um and lots of food like any of the food that can be reusable um and not you know not run out of quickly so like i can eat a lot of pasta um or canned goods um things that wouldn't go bad very quickly if I only had a book bag to carry with me, I'd definitely put vitamin products in um, and a notebook and a couple pens, as well as pictures, definitely, more than just that one, but pictures of my family and of my friends and of my animals, um, and a blanket and a sweater and band-aids and water and maybe some food if I could fit it in. Thanks for listening.